David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, talking about static C2301. I've got a, a simple parallel axis theorem problem that um, just kind of talks about how we can work with different unknowns and the parallel axis theorem to solve for those unknowns. So this is a parallel axis theorem problem. What I've got here is a blue blob, kind of semi-triangular shape, but not really. And I give you some of the uh, moments of inertia for this thing. And its dimensions to the center of gravity, 11 inches in the X, an unknown Y bar distance. And once again, I want to remind you that the parallel axis theorem is also the transfer axis theorem, where I'm transferring the moment of inertia from the centroid to another axis, y in this case. And the distance that I'm transferring it is that dx distance. So in this case, I know i, y, that's 80-10. And I know dx, that distance, that's 11. So I want to rearrange it to solve for i bar y prime. So i bar y prime, just rearranging the parallel axis theorem, is equal to I x, iy minus adx squared. iy is 80 10. That's the moment of inertia about the y-axis that I've computed somehow in another way. Minus the area, which is 60, times that dx distance, which is 11, and I square it. And I get that the answer to that is 750 inches to the fourth. Easy. Just required a rearrangement of the parallel axis theorem. Now, the second part of this problem is I want to know what the y-bar distance is from the centroid, from the x-axis to the centroid of the shape. Well, remember that, that that shape has its own centroidal axis, x prime, y prime, and this time I know the parallel axis theorem I'm going to use here for this y distance is ix is equal to i bar x prime plus a dy squared. dy is that y bar distance I want because it's the distance from the x axis to the x prime axis to the centroid. So it's that distance where I'm transferring the moment of inertia. So that's what dy refers to. And the distance from the x-axis to this x-prime axis is that distance right there, dy. So, once again, I need to know some of these variables, and so I can write the uh, parallel axis theorem as applies to this shape as ix is 2880 that was given is equal to i bar x prime, which was also given to me, 213.3, repeating, plus the area, 60, times that dy distance, that's what I'm solving for, squared. So I just rearrange this and I get 2880 minus 213.3, subtract that from both sides, then divide by 60, and that is equal to dy squared. Just rearrange that equation. Okay, I can take the square root of both sides. The square root of dy squared is dy. And I calculate the numbers for this other square root over here, and I get 6.66 repeating inches.
So the parallel axis theorem is a very popular thing, very powerful tool to uh, calculate moments of inertia and transfer them from one axis to another. 